Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Dreamfall Chapters. When we left off last time, we were able to wake Zoe up from her coma, so that's excellent. But over on Kian's side, things are not going so well. He is to be executed tomorrow, and uh, uh, right now we've got to decide how we want to go out. We could hang, that A sounds terrible. Deserves to die by the we blade. could be beheaded, which sounds... But nice and fairly quick, death? so long as the executioner has good aim. Down my own sword. Or we could death say nothing and force the and warden to choose. To I kind of want own. to do that just to be spiteful. I have nothing more to say to this man. But no, we're going to choose beheading because I think it is the fastest way to go. I think that Kian should still be able to consider himself a warrior, so he can take the warrior's way out. And also, he just he was musing about that lullaby that he remembers from his mother where she talked about the traitor's head rolling. Um, not great to think of ourselves as a traitor, but I guess... Well, arguably, he's not, really. His people can, are claiming that he's a traitor to them, and perhaps he's a traitor to their current governance, but I think he's not a traitor to his goddess, right? So, we'll go with a beheading. A warrior take my head. The sword it is. I shall make a note of it. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My well, family not is over here. very important to me, almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers, no body to bury, no closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. I don't think he's questioning his faith. I understand is why you've... Um, <clears throat> Simply decided to give up, to mm, to stop fighting. I'm kind of appreciating this warden, though. He's, I mean, well, he's stuck in a tough position, right? He tried to to forestall things. He'd rather do things exactly by the letter, but he's got this this other guy telling him, "I will kill you too if you don't just hustle through and get this prisoner out of here." So he doesn't like what's going on, but he's kind of forced into it, and I don't know. I appreciate his questions and his concerns here, trying to understand, so. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I feel like we might as well confide in this guy, right? It's useful in some way. So, he's, a guy, he's part of the country that Kian's people have invaded so maybe it'd be good for him to know that not all of us invaders are terrible horrible people some of us are are capable of change of introspection and doubting our leadership i don't know that's kind of a yeah i think that's a useful thing to pass on to the warden that there's some doubt in the ranks that maybe that's something that could help the Marcurians to fight off these guys so and if we're gonna die anyhow then you might as well unburden yourself why not although i i mean it's possible the game will kill him they killed april but i'm hoping that we're gonna find a way out of it in which case you know choosing to have a beheading might be the better way to go because maybe we can somehow wrestle the sword away from the executioner or something who knows anyhow you would not understand try me alvani you may come to see that we're more alike than you thought I have no family, no country, so leave me be, and let me prepare for death in peace. Oh, you might as well Very explain well. yourself to him. Oh, come Everything on. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. Well, I shall some... see you at first light, Alvani. The sword will be ready for you. He's not really entitled to answers from people that he's arranging to kill, so that's something he's just got to accept. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. Oh, wow. Well. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going no on? No time for answers. 
Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. After we've unlocked some new characters, so let's check it out. The Vagabond is the mysterious warden of story time, a world of dreams where all stories begin and end. Zoe has encountered the Vagabond on a few occasions, but she still knows little about him. He appears to know more than he's willing to tell Zoe, and he may have less control over this dreaming realm than she first thought. Hmm. Warden Muran? 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 Whatever. The Warden of Friar's Keep is a native Northlander and Mercurian who has willingly collaborated with the Azadi occupiers to convert the city... So this is one of those tricky words that I see written a lot, but almost never hear pronounced. It looks like it'd be like, gaol, gaol, but maybe it's jail. I don't really know. Is that a soft G or a hard G? Into a political prison, housing dissenters and rebels, Warden Miran has embraced the foreigners and their rigid military order with near sadistic enthusiasm, though he has little patience for their spiritual beliefs. So, he was serious about, he he's all about the order and the paperwork, huh? Miran's prized prisoner is Kian Albani. So I, th I think they're say I'm saying it more like Kian, and I think they're saying it more like Kian. A high-ranking Azadi assassin who betrayed his own people and was sentenced to death for his crimes. So the warden's, I mean, he's not really a good guy, but he's a guy with a lot of curiosity, which I, I can respect. I have a lot of curiosity, too. Asking all these questions of someone who's going to die, but I don't know. I'd want to know the answers, too. Not a good guy, but... Anyhow. Commander Vamon. Vamon? Vamon? We're going to go with Vamon for now. Is an Azadi military commander, head of the secret police in Markyria, the emissary's most trusted man, and her illicit lover. Ooh. When the Apostle Kian, Alva Kian Alvani first arrived in Markyria, Vamon was ordered by the emissary, Sister Saya, to keep an eye on him. And when Kian traveled to the Swamp City to meet the rebel leader, April Ryan, Vamon had him followed. Kian's arrest was the culmination of a lifetime of jealousy. Vamon wants nothing more than to see Kian dead. The two men have history, and their rivalry is personal. Vamon and Saya... Is it Saya? Saya? A lot of... This is the trouble with names. Names can be pronounced all kinds of different ways. I need to hear it to try and get it right, are secretly plotting to increase their power over Markyria. With command over the secret police and the troops stationed in the city, Famine has an iron grip on Markyria, and the hated resistance is finally in his sights. With their imminent defeat, nothing will stand in their way. And here's our main guy. Kian Alvani was once the Azadi Apostle, serving the goddess as a holy assassin. A man of unwavering faith, Kian did what the six and their priestesses command him to, commanded him to do, without question, without doubt. A year ago, called upon by the six in Sadir, capital of Azadir, Kian received an important miss mission. Travel to Markyria, capital of the Northlands, to find and assassinate the leader of the resistance of magicals. But during the course of this mission, Kian's faith was challenged. Upon meeting the rebel leader, April Ryan, he began questioning his superiors and their occupation of Markyria, and whether or not he truly served the word of the goddess. Kian's refusal to assassinate April led to his imprisonment and death sentence. Locked up in Friar's Keep for almost a year now. So, okay, so that's part of why the warden is wondering, like, why do we suddenly need to kill him tonight? He's been languishing here for quite some time. Now we're in a hurry? Kian is a man at a crossroads, a man without a people and in the midst of a crisis of faith. To move forward, Kian has to remake himself, stand up against the very people he once trusted implicitly, and find his own way in the world for the first time in 20 years. So I can feel a lot of sympathy for him. Um, I don't know, I'd, I'd think if I were in his position, I would probably try clinging to my faith, right? He's got the idea, so he's doubting that everyone that he's served and trusted, he's thinking they're not actually enacting the word of the goddess. But he could cling to service to the goddess, right? So he could find solace in that, that whatever he does, it's serving the true faith, it seems like something that could kind of help. It's something, something to, to hold tight to, to help guide you through tough times. Because otherwise, yeah, I mean, I do understand the crisis he's going through and how he is kind of almost giving up. Like, everything that he believed in and that he has devoted all of his energy for, for years now, turned out to be wrong. All right, do we have anything cool in our cell? No, not really. That's not surprising. So who is What's this going fella? On down there? That boy is a mate to order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. Remind what? me. The Swamp City. Precisely. Huh. 
where I made a daring swashbuckling last minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. Might as well. Something to do, right? Especially if you're feeling like everything that your superiors have been doing has been wrong and they've been oppressing these people. That's a good place to try to make some amends. A made to order riot. We're just gonna nonchalantly stroll on out of here. It gave me a little icon. Can I listen? Oh, yeah. What do we got going on here with that? It didn't let me click. Maybe it's something I'm not really meant. Or is it just indicating that someone's talking behind the door? In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We will need a key to open this gate. Indeed. Let's get a name for this fella, because I don't remember who he is. Balse Bakim? Bachim? I'm gonna go with Captain Balse Bakim is a relatively recent convert to the rebel cause. Before meeting April Ryan, the deceased leader of the resistance, Bakim profited from the Azadi occupation, lending them the use of his ship. In return, the Azadi turned a blind eye to his small-time smuggling operation. Bakim's turning point came after meeting April. Her convictions changed his perspective. Using his relationship with the Azadi as cover, he began smuggling arms, food, and medicine to the rebels in Markyria, and he even helped establish and supply the rebel outpost in Nyria, the Swamp City. Hey! Oh. Hey! Help me! Okay, if I can. Let's back up and... He's still hey, breathing. You. I've seen Over. him around the prison. I don't think he's been Over here that here. long. And I don't think he's long for this world. Well, let's do what we can. Help! He's still Help breathing. Me. I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And I don't think he's long for this world. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can help us, his death won't be in vain. I mean, yeah, that's good information to have, but... He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long, but we can't just leave him here either. I think I'd prefer to attempt to help him rather than just, well, looks like you're dying, I got things to do, and leaving him on his own. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I... I've lost too much blood. Take, <coughs> take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. Oh, see? Excellent. There's nothing more I can do for him. He is already dead. All I can do is reassure him. We could attempt to at least ease him. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. I think that seems like a worthwhile thing to do. He did save us a lot of time by telling us right where the key is. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> My children. Tell them they make me proud. Okay, I need your name and I need some of your family's names. I can give no promises. I don't even know if we'll make it out of here alive. Or where my path will take me next. And I can't make a promise that I might not be able to keep. Then, make, then you phrase it, you say, If I can find them... I will tell them. You can promise that much. You can promise to make I an effort. To I have to fulfill this man's dying wish, no matter what. I can't. You're you're pretty extreme in your thinking here. He's got this. This is a very either or black or white way he is looking at this. Like it's not. I must fulfill this if I promise, and I have to promise him. Just promise to do your best, man. That that would suffice. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. 
Thank you. Please. <coughs> he wants Please me to put him out of his misery me before, before the guards the arrive. Me. They won't be kind. Okay. Make... <coughs> but how would we even do that? Me suffer. He's alive. But not for long. I'll have to see if we find anything else. Oh. Well. It's a makeshift blade. I've seen how they make them by sharpening stolen spoons against stone. A deadly weapon in the right hands. All right. Kill me. Please. This is one of those things that I don't know that I could do Please in real me. life. Like, if you find someone who seems like they're dying and they say, you know, kill me, spare me, put me out of my misery, it would be a mercy. I don't know if I have what it takes to actually do it. But in a game, I do. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. Ooh, balance action. This is an innocent man. I can't simply murder him. In the face of my own death, I swore to never take another life. Perhaps the guards will show mercy and spare him. Um, I think that's very unlikely. I think more likely they're going to say he was part of this uprising and they're going to make like an example out of him. So... This is an innocent... If I don't kill him now, the guards will. But not before they make him suffer. Yeah, I think that's the more likely thing to happen. Such a gruesome fate. And that's what he thinks too. I don't... Me and the the prisoner's position, I would I would rather always take my shot at life. Like even if the odds look bad, I'm gonna go for it. Don't kill me. Let me. I'll I'll take whatever comes. But if that is what this guy wants, and I think he's right that things probably are not gonna go well for him, we'll give it to him. May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. I can't tell if this guy is kind of respectfully looking down or if he's disappointed in us for this. We have to see what he says. He's with the goddess now, walking the sun-blessed slopes of the first mountain. It appears to be a gate key. It probably unlocks this first gate. I know him. Anton, I believe. He took great joy spitting in my food. It appears he was stabbed and bled to death. Well... Ooh, what do we have here? Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Well, if I can let them out. Locked. And I don't have time to pick each and every cell door. What about my key? It probably only opens the gate and doesn't open this. No? No. Alright, well, we're gonna have to leave him there then. I would rather not just walk away, man, but... I don't know, could I pick it with the shiv? It seems unlikely, but maybe. And he's right, we don't necessarily have time. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Mm. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Fine. Okay, that's as far as we can get over here. What about this door? Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. I have no time to no. spare. Okay. And no desire to let all these prisoners loose. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say about everything he just saw. He must have a plan for what comes next. He wouldn't have brought us here otherwise. Well, one hopes. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. Here's Adi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. But then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Sire and Vermon are still in charge. Sire. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Oh. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. And is that why they wanted to kill me now, before one of the six gets here? It had to be done, Kian. You made the right choice. Oh good, I'm glad you approve. Excellent. Now unlock the gate. We will need a key to open this gate. 
We have a key to open this gate. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Very well. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. All right. I just want to look around first. Nothing. Upwards. Ever upwards. And you got some plan to get... Oh, maybe we're going to go in some kind of flying ship out the top. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. Very well. We need another key. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. Fair. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Oh, don't just give up. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now. Find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. The riot is growing. Moving closer. We need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. And we will, but does he have anything what new to say on this floor? What are really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about something else. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. Yeah. Which means, instead the of just giving we up... Eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. Our buddy here is right. We need to try to right our wrongs, we need to make an effort, we need to so help out. Barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? And also, since he believes that what his people are doing are not the will of the goddess, then, since he is a man of faith, doesn't it make sense that you should keep fighting to live, Kian, and try and enact the will of the goddess, or at least stop these people who are falsely proclaiming to do things in her name? Come on. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Wait, did that guy say I'm very comfortable? Well, it makes sense that some people wouldn't want anything to do with a riot. Who was in this cell? Are those? Yes. Those are head bugs. They burrow through the skin into the skull. Into the skull? Eggs. Months later, the larvae devour their victim's brain. Oh, that's horrifying. Be very careful touching that. We're gonna... We're gonna keep this infested pillow? Alright. Pretty gross. Who are we gonna use that on? Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Wants to join the rebellion, huh? Well, eventually the riot will get to this floor and maybe someone will let you out. A broom. Long and thin. Okay, that's the floor below. So they're getting close. I heard them. Where's the key? Someone get the ghost down keys. Combine some things, they say. These two? No. Hello, I'm Bru What am I gonna do with this? Okay. We must have a plan for the slop we eat three no, times no, no, no. a day arrives in these- Has the resistance been inside the tower? Not yet. That's where you come in, boy. 
You're our key to the tower. Oh. That tower is a fortress. How in the name of the goddess do you expect me to find a way inside? We'll see. Maybe you'll rise to the occasion, huh? Maybe. Is that why you're breaking me out of here? To find a way into the tower? But that's part of it, I. But not all of it. You're a bloody symbol, boy. Once we've got you on our side, it'll give the boys a big, um, what's it? Boost. It will increase morale. Well, it makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Fat chance of that. There'll always be a bunch of booze and thieving, whoring, cursing him. Morale. As in confidence. <laughs> spirit. Well, that's it. A boost to the team spirit, innit? You arrive in. You'll be the flag bearer. The bloody drummer boy. But getting into that Mojo blasted tower. Aye. That's a big part of it. But yeah, that does make sense. Someone from the enemy who has converted and decided to side with you guys, sympathizes with you. Yeah, that would be about the pretty tower, good for morale. Let's focus on getting you out of here first, boy. Ah, okay, so that's all the things he wants to say. Fair enough. So I'll need to pick the lock. Okay. I'll but need to pick the lock. But I need to do something weird with a pillow on a stick first. Am I gonna use it to threaten someone down hey. here? Hey you! Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! Hey guys, how's it going? Thought I left the key in the door, huh? Well. Come back here, Sandy. They lack finesse and they're not trained soldiers, but if those guards catch up with us, we won't last long regardless. Okay, hang on. I just wanted to I don't think there was anything to click on here, so I don't think I can threaten them with a pillow weapon. Where's the kid? Like, who are they talking about? Kid? They can't be talking about Keon because he's like 35 or something, right? But when my own people get here, it'll be a lot worse. Thought I heard read that somewhere. So he's not a kid. So who's the kid? Where's the kid? Someone get the goddamn keys! What do I want to do with this? There's something so. Pure and beautiful about the traditional broom. There is? Alright, sure. A shiv. It did its job Where's on that guard. Someone get the goddamn keys. So I don't want to combine them. That's not doing anything. I thought we needed to. Try to pick the oh speaking tube. It's a speaking tube. Hello? Anyone Where's there? The Someone get the goddamn I'm keys. speaking into a metal tube. <laughs> I feel foolish. Hello? Yeah, it's not accomplishing anything. Okay. That's not doing it. Shadow be damned. It broke. Mm. The blade worked better as a weapon than a lockpick. Wow, that's a bummer. Okay. And I can't just use this. So, we gotta come up with something else. It does not combine with a barrel, correct? Okay. So what am I missing here? No, seriously, I, I'm really not into rioting or bloodshed. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Well, this one is not into rioting Where's or bloodshed. What am I missing? Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! 
Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Okay. No? And he's not gonna want to open it. I have no time to spare, and no desire to let all these prisoners loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe one of them could help us. Not this one, though. Okay. So if it's nothing to do with the barrels. Where's the kid? Someone get the gun stuck here. About the and not this Let's guy. Focus on getting you out of here first, boy. I can't use the pillow on the gate. No, that didn't really make sense anyhow. It seems like I need to... It's got these weird bugs on it, so it seems like I've got to use it to threaten someone. And the only ones I'd think I'd want to threaten would be these guys. We'll get you, don't worry. You'll hang before the night is over. I chose beheading, not hanging. No? Cannot use this on them? Where's the kid? Someone get the gun stuff, keys! They will break through the gate soon. Mm. Yeah, so what are we going to do about that? What is it I'm not seeing? I'll need to pick the lock. Okay, yeah. I'll need Where's to pick the Someone get the gun stamp keys. Well, all we've got is this. And a broom is no good for picking the lock. We got a pillow on a broom. Which is a weird thing to do. There's something so pure and beautiful about the traditional broom. Is it made more pure and beautiful when you pop a pillow on top of it? Where's the kid? Someone get the gun stamp keys! So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? But there's nothing I can do with these barrels. This weird item is driving me nuts. You have any ideas, Captain? Cause I could use them. He must have a plan for what comes next. He wouldn't have brought us here otherwise. What do I do with this? So I can, uh, I can look at the barrels, I can look at the speaking tube. There's not really much to do with the broom with either of those that I've figured out. I can look at the gate. Is there something else I can interact with that I went by too quickly? Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Locked. And I don't have time to pick each and every cell door. I mean, but you have enough time you could probably mess with this door. This didn't work before. I don't know why I think it's going to work now. I don't really think it is. I'm just hoping. So we can't even talk to this guy. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. But we can get close and it gives us the gear, almost like maybe we could do something with us. Alright, nothing with this door. Back 
to this Oh, now what's this? Here he is, up there. Oh. He got away. The keep is surrounded by soldiers, mostly Azadi troops it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. Well, let's get some arrows. Something long and thin to pick the lock. All right. It's yeah, sure. And thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. Hooray! Yeah, you guys totally got me. Good job. Oh, and he moved because we are ready to that progress. Do the trick. Go on. I'll need to pick, pick the, the lock of the arrow. Where's the key? Someone get the ghost down key. And we totally lost our broom. Good job. It served its purpose. Follow me. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. Follow me, he says, but I'm taking the lead. Maybe I should let him go ahead. Does he have any dialogue? Oh. We need to stop it. Why? If it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. Oh, it sure is. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. <laughs> I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Val. Say, your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean genitals, Warden, open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. All right, maybe you and I can talk, huh? May the mojo no? befoul your filthy arsehole, Murren. Let us through right bloody now. The Warden has blocked the gate somehow. One day, Morin, we will see you garroted in front of this entire city, and your family, too. Oh, we don't need to bring threats to families as well. I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. I could attempt to reason with him. See if he responds to that. I think we People should. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's scum, and I should treat him as such. He said multiple times that he doesn't respond to threats. Let's try to reason. I could attempt to re Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? Hmm. Well, he said earlier that we were both practical people, so I think that's what he I wants. I may not but... be able to stay my anger. He's responsible for many innocent deaths. But if I can convince him to believe me, what choice does he have? I was the apostle. I was always true to my word. Well, you were until you, from your people's perspective, betrayed them. So that's going to... It's going to impact people's perception of the integrity of your word, Kian. Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? He does. If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. Let's try it. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. All right. We're running out of time, and this filthy heathen is the only thing between us and freedom. He doesn't care about that. He may treasure his office above his blood, but maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. He did say that his family is the thing that he cares second most about after his job, so... If he fails to respond to threats to his own life, maybe he'll listen if I threaten his children. Uh, I just I just don't feel it. I don't think threats are the way to go with this guy. All men of his station can be bought. If I offer to buy him, I'm sure he will be swayed, filthy maggot that he is. What are you going to buy him with? What have you even got? Nah, he may family. Treasure his own. If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother, 
lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. So give her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. <laughs> Very well. well. You make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Helvani. All right. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. Okay. First, though, because we did not look at this floor, let's just do a, a sweep. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. All right. Didn't really expect that there would be anything here, but I didn't want to just run right past all of it either. What is so many there? barrels? Do they never clean up after themselves? I looked for a second like there was Oh, it's just letting me know there's dialogue down there. Ooh. Anyone there? I'm speaking into a metal tube. I feel foolish. He doesn't look well at all, seeing his world fall to pieces. <gasps> I almost pity the man. You He's a pretty bad guy, though. Word, Alvani. Word. You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything anymore? Is your word hmm. so disposable you will throw it away at a whim? Hopefully this isn't if a you time kill decision. Me, you've proven your disregard for the law. You've proven that you are a simple brute. If I kill you, I rid the world of a piece of sadistic vermin who sold out his own people. Look who's... who's talking. Who's the traitor here? I am merely an elected official. I do not decide who lives or dies. That's for the law to decide, for courts and judges and of... other elected officials. Who are perfectly willing to carry out orders without question. As long as they can hide behind the chain of command. A system cannot function without bureaucracy and bureaucrats. It cannot function without a hierarchy. If you want to change that, go to the top. Oh, believe me, I will. Don't. Please, spare my life. I have a family. He does, and I'm not particularly swayed by that. There's an argument that could be made that job? maybe his children would be better off not being raised no by a person like crime. him. But we did give our word. Um... I don't know. Do it. He's do a despicable guy. Don't torture me like this. I don't kind of feel please. like Spare my life. it's I better for Keon if he does not kill this guy. If he maintains his word. Job. I think he has an Actually, argument right now, equally, no at least to himself, crime. that his word means something. Even if he did turn against his You're people, his greater don't allegiance is to his goddess. Like so this. if he maintains his word, as long don't. as he's acting please. in loyalty to Spare her... I have a family. Then he can feel like that's a principle he's living by. So, yes, we gave what our we word. I think job. we let this guy live. And equally, no who knows? Maybe some crime. other prisoner in this riot will kill him. If you're going to do it, do it quickly. Don't. You will receive your just punishment soon enough. One hopes, but it doesn't always go that way. Sometimes bad people just continue to prosper. Perhaps so, Alvani, but at least my punishment... At least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. Not necessarily, not if the criminals get you. Be a barbarian like yourself. <laughs> or, perhaps my barbarian countrymen will be mad that you let me go, and they'll take you out. I wouldn't be feeling too confident right now, Warden. This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. Huh. You were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know. And others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. 
So you're stuck for it. I wanted to speak into this speaking tube too. All these things I cannot interact with. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. What's the plan then? We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. There's Very no well. way through here. Anything more to say? About the tower. Nope. Let's focus on getting you out of here first, boy. Very well. So, let's go back past this area. They're not far behind us. Yeah, I know. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. Shadow be damned. The guards are getting closer. A piece of cloth. Moist. With what, I'd rather not know. Might be useful, though. We don't have much time. Ooh, and the plate, too, huh? I've eaten the slop they called porridge for so long, I've forgotten the taste of meat. I wouldn't have done for a single bite of that meal. I draw the line at licking the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat. But I'm not a dog. No, I just we just wanted to shake the plate in case it's useful. We didn't want you to lick it. Kinship with that lonely flickering flame. Oh, Kian, he's being a little bit dramatic. Hello? Anyone there? They use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. All right, seems maybe useful. That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. Can we find the chain? It's covered in thick oil. It's covered in thick oil. Okay, well maybe we can wipe it with a napkin. I managed to wipe off a tiny bit of oil, but it won't make much of a difference. I still can't climb the chain. Hmm. On the positive side, I now have an oily cloth. That I could set on fire. I'm not sure why I'd want to, but... No? It's sticky with oil. Very well. Let's see what else we got. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. It's mounted securely to the wall. Try and lever it off? No. But maybe we can do something with it if we find some other items. Most of the prisoners are still under yep. lock and key. I rushed him. Not everyone in here is a okay. wrongly convicted rebel. Some are Figured violent murderers. say something murderers. like that again? I won't okay. risk it. Grab one of these boards and try and knock one of those torches down. No? Hmm. I'd burn my skin off if I tried to wrench it free. Here's the gate. There's no way through here. There's no way through here. Where's the key? Someone get the ghost down keys. Oh, look at that. Okay, well let's go like that. Oh, and then we'll then we'll set the chain on fire to burn off all the excess oil. 
Shadow. I need a stronger flame to light this torch. Okay, I bet something like that. Is it too high up? Oh no, it's good. Excellent. I'm curious to see where this is going. I got a plan. The oil is burning off. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. All right, let's go. I should be able to climb the chain now. Well, you first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. <laughs> I should be able to climb the chain now. How'd that guy land with just one hand? A warrior's death. And just what one leg. Here? He's a tough fella. Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Okay. Well, it seems like Use the first the lever step. To lower the bar. Quickly now. Use the lever to lower the bar. For the bar. love of Mojal Seven Prostitutes, Kian, lower that damned bar now. They're here. Oh shoot! I mean, I'm, I was into the idea of what he was saying. I just didn't know where I needed to go to do it. Oh, it, it's timed. What are we doing here? Okay. Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy us quick. Block that. Oh, this. Okay. Use the lever to lower the bullet. Now arm yourself. It's excellent quality. A good headsman can take someone's life with one swing there. of this. Come over here now. But there was this one too. Which one's better? Oh, Why the Mojo's bloated testy? Stop fucking about and get your ass over here, boy. I'm here. Simmer down. He's a brave and Listen to me. There's not I'm much time. All right, I'm listening. What you got? How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. Yeah, I did kind of expect a that. Ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. Hmm. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal Aww. before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No. I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, oh, he's right. I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. I have to kill you to make it work? Ooh, this is, a, this is an ugly choice. Um... Okay, I don't think I want to kill him. I believe him that this is a way that will work and that someone has to die. Um, I think I'm gonna force him to. I, I'm gonna spare his. I'm gonna try to spare his life. I think he's going down either way. My guess is that he's gonna, um, maybe run himself through because he wants to make sure that it happens. And I think he's right that for the resistance to continue, it's gonna be really good for them to have Keon on their side. Um, so Keon's still gonna have to. I know he was ready to just give up, but he's gonna have to. <gasps> what happened? I took too long. I. Cannot. I'm not worthy of such a sacrifice. Listen to me, boy. If you don't do this, then it's all for naught. The whole bloody thing. There's been too much death. Too much. Oh, for the love of the four heavens. Yep. Oh, that bloody stings. That sucks, but I think it's better than if we ran him through. Because if Keon did it, then 
It just seems too eager, too ready to go ahead and... No, I think it... Even though it's practical, I think I it's, it's better this way. Of my mother. She held me to her heart until I fell asleep. That night, she threw herself from the city walls into the shallows. Oh. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb those walls, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. I never did. Well, not great. He's injured. But he's out of prison. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal. What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Not Leave good us. for you guys. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. Yeah, I think things won't go well for the warden. headed warden. Yeah. He will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. I protect us. Do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've holed up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone. But I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. Mm -hmm. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... Oh, then things are going to crumble down for you two. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander. Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch it. Do you really think your goddess wants to watch over you, though? Do you think she approves of what you're doing? Come on, now. Oh, Monday, July 24th, 2220. It's our three-month anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? What do you think? You have more energy. You appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Hmm? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. You're not sure you want to remember. I think you do. Do you agree with that, Zoe? Well, yes, we need to remember. That is specifically what we were told, that we need to remember as much as we could. He said that it, things would fade, but we needed to fight to remember it. That's how we're going to save the world. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and wind things down here. So come on back next time at least. So we had first chapter with Zoe. Second chapter was Gian. So that, I kind of like that if we're going to swap characters between chapters. It also nicely handles the, the difference between Stark and then over in Arcadia. Yeah, so we'll come back and we'll absolutely and answer. Yes, we want to remember. I built here. I know there's something.